This clip of the Texas Bucket List is brought to you by Spirit of Texas Bank, Slovacek Sausage, Germania Insurance, TX Burger, and RV Source. Howdy, and welcome to the Texas Bucket List, the show dedicated to everything there is to see to and experience right here in the Lone Star State. My name is Shane McAuliffe, and when you think of the Alamo City, the Alamo is usually the first thing on your mind. But there is also a beautiful church in San Antonio that has a special connection to that battle in 1836, a special connection to Texans, and a special connection to me. There aren't many places in Texas to find walls that have seen as much history as these. The oldest standing structure in the state has been around some of the earliest settlers, heroes and foes of the Alamo, and a stream of believers looking for some solace. San Fernando Cathedral in downtown San Antonio secured its spot in Texas history a very long time ago. You can gather the entire history of Texas within these walls. Al Schwab, or Grandpa Schwab as he's known around here, came to the Alamo City when he was stationed at Lackland. He's never left. Today, he gives resonating and tours of the church and every once in a while gets confused for a man of the cloth. Blessing. I am not a priest, but I'm enthusiastic and I certainly say a prayer for you. Oh, we're good. Thank you, Jesus. <laughs> His uplifting spirit helps spread the history of San Fernando. It is the spiritual center of this entire area. Not only just the town of San Antonio, but all of Texas. The site was selected in 1731 by 15 families from the Canary Islands. Construction of the original church started in 1738 and wasn't completed until 1755. Now here's the original sanctuary of the church. Consider the oldest cathedral building in the entire country. It's been flooded, gutted by a fire, even the roof collapsed, but the faithful kept coming. I can't keep from researching the history of this town and the characters that lived here and their ancestry because of this little church. A lot of that history centers around the Battle of the Alamo. It was February 23rd of 1836 when a Mexican boy, a parishioner of this little church, walked over to that bell tower and rang the bell to alert the revolutionaries that Santa Ana was at the gate. They retreated, and on that day, in my opinion, here is where the Battle of the Alamo began. Once Texas defeated Santa Ana, one Texian soldier returned to honor his compatriots at this small church. If you go down three feet, like it's shown in this dugout, you find the original floor. After the Battle of San Jacinto, once again came back into town, went to where the revolutionaries were buried. He scraped up some of the windswept ashes and he walked all the way down the hill, went to this altar rail and dug a hole to bury those remains. He gave his men a Christian burial, at least symbolically. In the 1870s, the newer portion of the church was built. And during a renovation in 1936, the box Juan Seguin buried was discovered. Today, you'll find those remains in the front of the church. Everybody who loves being a Texan should come here and give a mental tribute or a little prayer for those people that gave us the freedom of a European domination. Prior to losing his life for Texas at the Alamo, Jim Bowie had a special moment at this church, his wedding. In 1832, a lovely young girl, Ursula Vera Mendy, walked through that door to marry Jim Bowie, the hero of the revolution. Over the years, thousands of beautiful brides have walked down this storied path to celebrate the sacrament of marriage, including mine. No doubt your wife said a prayer to St. Anthony because he's a patron saint of finding a good husband. <laughs> From incredible celebrations of life, love, and Texas 
to somber remembrances for loved ones and those who made the ultimate sacrifice for God and country. The church provides a gathering place for all. It's more than just an old building. It's literally the center of San Antonio, part of our culture and people for nearly 300 years, and a focal point for the faithful, making it well worth a stop on the Texas bucket list. They can sit here quietly almost any time of the day and speak to anybody they want to, whether it's their colleagues or the ancestors, or just say hi to the Lord so he doesn't forget who you are. <laughs>